Wow, this is amazing. Why did I use this before? Wait, what's that? You you want me to chant what? She's fa. Are you on this? Oh wait, there is one chant I know. Let's see how this works. Hobo Tom. Hobo Tom. Hobo. Oh wait, this is actually running. What's wrong? Shoot. Hi folks, welcome again to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Show. I got some new thing. Mocking some wrestlers. Because obviously they had someone in my ear. I pretended to have someone in my ear with these. Oh wow, I should have used these. Darn, I should have used these for the wrestling matches. That would be pretty cool. After my suspensions, I'll do that. But that's enough about me. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And my name is Hobo Tom. You now I hear the Hobo Tom chant. And my girlfriend will be seeing her shortly. Because she's off doing photography stuff. Which stuff is... I do not understand. I found new technology in my house. So that's cool. I want to give this a try. See how this works. Makes me look smarter. That's a, that's a hard thing to do. So, oh, this cord sucks. Well, it's only that far. The other one's better. The computer is the best, but it gets way too much feedback. But enough about technical stuff. You're watching the Hobo and his girlfriend wrestling show here on YouTube. And my name is Hobo Tom. My girlfriend's off on assignment for photography. And I'd like to thank everyone for watching. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope this actually does work. Kind of cool. This is weird. So normally I'm used to hearing my voice and then hearing it from the computer. Now it's just in my earphones. What? 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 Chant Lashley? I don't know. I'm picking up like weird signals. Being told to chant Lashley? What I that sounds that sounds what that sounds stupid. I'm not doing that nonsense. I'm Hobo Tom, and sir, you can give me some aluminum before I start saying that stuff. Oh, really? I'll tell you where can you can put that that Budweiser can. Yeah, enough of that. Let's talk about some Monday Night Raw, and. <sighs> It was a weird show. Um, it started off with Roman Reigns coming out. And normally I, I would just take a nap, but he seems serious. And unfortunately, I think we've seen the last of Roman Reigns for a, for a while. Um, I, I know I'm going to butcher his, butcher his name. I'm not good with Samoan names. But I shall try, though. Oh, wow. I do have to clean up the office. But Yetta, Joseph, and Noi, unfortunately, has been diagnosed with leukemia. He's he's um, it's back. I guess it was in remission for a while, which kind of sucks. It's a real downer. So the show started off on a real downer. Again, I'd like to wish Mr. Lietta Joseph. Annoy. Wish him all the best, speedy recovery. All, 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 all of our thoughts and prayers going out to you and, and your family. Um, as a individual, I've heard good things about him. I might not like the booking of him. I guess I'm kind of at that age where I'm mature. So I mean, I can kind of separate the. The character from the rest, the, the, the well, well, the well, the wrestler from the person. Again, best wishes do go out to Mister Annoy. Um, hope it's a speedy recovery. Hope it's a nearly complete recovery. You know, leukemia is one of those things where it never seems to fully go away. 
you really don't cure cancer. You kind of treat it, and it goes into remission. So, again, I just wish the best for him and his family. And just for that, to show you I'm a big fan, and I does hope he beats leukemia. Little picture of, little picture it goes up just for you. And so again, so the show kind of started on a downer, and I think the crowd realized, like, oh wow, this is real. And they started to chant for him. Um, I know some other crowds might not have been as supportive. I think they're in Rhode Island. So that's that's kind of that's, that's kind of a friendly state to be in. So again, the, the audience was understanding. It was really heartfelt, and I think the one thing that made it real. I mean, again, he said everything. He said, one, well, one, it's not, it's not a retirement. He just has to take some time off and he can't defend the belt. Um, I think the wrestlers do go under, do undergo medical evaluations kind of almost after each show. Again, if something's really wrong, they do have pretty good health benefits as, as long as they're on the, they're, they're signed, I guess. Um, I think the one thing, the one tell that this is like, oh wow, this is actually real, is um, Renee Young kind of broke character. And again, she mentioned that, that her and her husband, and her husband is Ambrose, um, always spend time with him and, and they feel terrible. And, and the even bigger tell is that Corey Graves' voice kind of changed to, I guess, his. his real voice and, and you can tell there was, there was a whole tone change with the show again I'd like to wish him again our thoughts and prayers go out to him and I put my little tribute up there already so and unfortunately it's a, it's a downer and it kind of made the show feel a little bit long um one of those tough things it's like well, well what do you really do the show must go on, folks. So, let's talk about some wrestling now. And I promise I will get much more positive. Well, a little bit more positive. Actually, with this, the wrestling was actually pretty good. Everything else, though, again, besides besides the opening 10 minutes, that's, that, that, that's something in and of itself that's entirely different. But all the promos... Oh, 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 there's a TV show on. Shoot. So let's talk about some wrestling. If I whap this cord one more, more time, I might switch back to my old reliable lapel mic. Um, but we have Finn Balor versus Bobby Lashley. And again, Leah Rush came out. Again, he's, he, he's being the hype man. Again, he's, you can actually. <laughs> Yeah, it was pointed out that that he is um an earpiece in, and and Ashley looks. I'm like not in that ear. I'm like, oh, he turned his head. Oh, there's that earpiece. He's he's like going and saying thing. What what do I have to say again? It's like, but I, I've said that twenty times already. Bad again. Lashley, Lashley, <laughs> Lashley. I mean, it's kind of getting old. It's a little bit. I think especially as the matches go on. I wonder how I sound with this. this is something different from me. Probably won't last too long unless I do another live stream show. But even then, the volume's different, so I just have to realize I can do this for Facebook stuff. Probably look like a nerd. But again, this was kind of a fu fun match. Um again Lashley was not Lashley, but um Leo Rush was around ringside. Um, he provide he pro he provided a couple distractions. Again, with this, you have the cold con contrast in style. You have Lashley. Lashley is way too powerful for Finn. Lashley's jack. Finn's cut, but Lashley is jacked. Again, 
And definitely the quicker, more agile the two. They both kind of get their spots in. Um, neither man really able to hit their finisher. Again, um, uh, once Leo rushed to distract and, and did his job, distracted Finn. Finn, however, is the master of the roll up. And he rolled up Bobby Lashley. Probably a way too overconfident Bobby Lashley. Hubris, baby. And this actually, I think all throughout the show, they were just showing things about Roman Reigns. Again, kind of a recap of that. Then we get onto the next match, which is Sasha Banks versus Ruby Wright. And I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this match. Sasha Banks is a good wrestler. The thing is with Sasha Banks, if you put her in, put her in the ring with another good wrestler, you're going to have a good match. If you put her in there with an okay wrestler, you're, you're going to have you're going to have you're going to have a blah match. So she kind of wrestles at the level of her opponent. So with Ruby Riot, it was a really fun match. Oh wait, I forgot to give my review on the other one. The Bobby Lashley Finn Balor match. That was your really classic cheeseburger match. Um, now moving on to Sasha Banks. Going back to actually Sasha Banks and Ruby Riot. Again, it was a fun match. Um, the Riot Squad did get involved. They eventually just because Natalia and Bailey showed up to the ring, and eventually there was a big small schmoz. Thank you very much, Stephen Miller. I do like that word. The Brits do think of interesting words. There was a big smog outside the ring. And again, that allowed Ruby Wright to pick up the win. Um, again, I think, yeah, um, I forget what it was Liv. I think Sarah Logan pulled Ruby Wright out of the ring when Sasha Banks had the bank statement on. I don't know. Liv Morgan, I can kind of understand her as, as, as a ditzy psycho person. Sarah Logan. Kind of liked her better as a backwoodsman girl who like would talk about possum guns shooting raccoons with squirrels and just kind of pure backcountry hicksish country nonsense stuff made me laugh because I, <laughs> I use those lines on my girlfriend because she lives behind a cow pasture. Like, well, why do you want to be here? Because the like, cows and roosters will get me. No, they won't. But, yeah, they will. They're vicious animals. That's why you must eat cows and chicken. Yum. Again, this this was a fun this was a fun enough match. Um, I think it was a cheeseburger match. My one fear is that because of this, the Riot Squad stands tall. And with Evolution coming up on Sunday, Riot Squad's going to lose. That's the WWE math for you, baby. No. No, wait. Dr. Tom, are you the one calling me on this? Uh, how does this thing work? With radio waves? No, no, no. I, 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 I told you I don't want an explanation of this. I'm trying to do a video here. But, um, no, and I don't want you on my show to do WWE math. That's later. That's some other time for a, for a major pay-per-view view or something like that. Talk about math on a wrestling show. Who do you think my audience is? My nice audience who likes to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And every so often we'll send an email. So then, um, the show started to get long. Again, had more Evolution promos this time with Nia Jax. She's so happy to be in the All-Woman Royal Rumble. You can see the excitement in her face. 
Paul Heyman comes out, does a promo for Braun versus Brock for the Universal Championship. Braun's going to be turning face soon. Actually, there were a couple of turns on the show, which is kind of neat. Is neat. Uh, Braun's in the ring. He gets jumped by Drew McIntyre. Do not want to do that, Drew. But this leads to a Walk with Elias segment where you have Apollo Crews interrupts him again. And this actually leads to a match that's actually a really fun match because, again, anytime you show off your athleticism, Apollo Crews is loaded with athleticism. You're going to have a darn good match, especially if you have a good heel work. You're going to get a cheeseburger match. And this time Elias won. The heel won. Again, Apollo Crews hit all his moves. They actually let them wrestle for a little bit. And again, it was a Really fun match. So Elias is now tied. 1-1. One, one. And of course Elias goes back to the stop. Tries to sing a song. But Baron Corbin said, uh -uh. I have more important things to say to this audience. You, you take a hike. And then Elias <laughs> got up slowly. And Corbin's like, yeah, that's right. You have to listen to me. I'm your boss. Yeah, don't turn your back to a guy wielding a guitar. So Elias cracks Corbin across the back or back of the head with his guitar. Is Elias turning face? That would be pretty good. I mean, it would be something different. Um, then you get to, again, another kind of boring segment. You have a Ronda Rousey Nick, Nikki, Nikki Bell prom, promo contract signing. I don't know. I just don't like the Bellas. This whole thing seems way too contrived. No tables were broken. Uh, Rousey signs the contract. See, I didn't beat you up here. I'm saving that for Evolution. Jeez, Evolution has the potential to be a really long pay-per-view. Not even length. I am going to give a review of it, though. Cannot do any live stream because I'm still on my band. Probably good because probably watch me snore, take a nap, play Candy Crush while the matches are going on. So this led to a fatal four-way between Nia Jax, Ember Moon, Tamina, and Dana Brooke. It was okay. I mean, Dana Brooke seemed to eat all the big moves. Um, they, all the wrestlers got, got their spots in. I mean, Ember Moon stands tall. Hey, Ember Moon, guess what? There is your over-the-top battle royal moment. Because you're not winning either. Sucks. I mean, overall, it just seemed tossed together. It's a ham sandwich. Then we have Trish and Lita backstage, and then they're giving their, their promo. God, this evolution is going to be so long. I'm not really that excited about this. I guess they're having Survivor Series. I don't know. I'll talk about that in the future. Um, and of course, during their promo, Mickey James and Alicia Fox comes out. Ooh, I, I, Fox sounds better on this. Starts the backstage brawl. Eventually, they get separated. So, of course, Mickey James and Alicia Fox has the upper hand. Once they get separated, Trish and Lita get their second win. And they beat up Mickey James and Alicia Fox. And Alicia Fox, there's no crying in wrestling. Then let's, this final leads to the main event. Because I think between the Ruby to Riot match up to this point, oh, Kurt Eggle showed up too. He's a usual promo for the best of the world. I'm sorry I'm yawning. I had a spa day. Went to work, took a nap, went to the spa, to the sauna, hot tub, cold pool, came home, ate cheeseburgers. Oh, cheeseburgers. So I kind of had my little spa day, so I'm about ready to call it night right after I make this video or process the video. 
Got to watch that time, too. So this led to Dolphin Drew versus Seth and Dean for the titles. And this was a really fun match. Um, every wrestler kind of got their spots in. Every saw they knew plot a couple new moves. Seth and Dean are now acting more like a tag team. Maybe because Roman Reigns isn't going to be there. Maybe they realize, hey, we have to get on the same page. But that would... Wouldn't suck if that's their motivation. But I mean, it really took this. And and I do believe Mr. Anai, and I know I'm butchering his name. I do apologize for that. A thousand times over. But hey, it is what it is. They, they wrote in somehow at least. So. Um, again, Seth and, Seth and Dean, they get the double teams in. Seth gets the hot tag. Um, Drew doesn't seem to get the hot tag anymore. He just seems to be tagged in at a kind of opportune moment. Ooh, it's getting nice and cool in here, too. Sleepy weather. I like this time of year in Florida. Like 80 degrees every day. 60 degrees at night. Fuzzy kitten sleeping in my bed. That's too much information for you YouTube folks. Um, again, it was a really fun match. Uh, they were trying to double powerbomb Dolph, I think. And Seth and um, Drew just caught him. And just kind of like gingerly tossed him into the corner. That was pretty cool. Um, then there was a ref spot. I think Dolph kind of shoved Dean into the ref. Knocks the ref out. Braun Strowman. Told you, Drew McIntyre, don't mess with the big guy. He comes in and starts tearing Drew apart. Um, eventually, Drew's outside in the crowd somewhere, um, getting just getting beat down by Braun, and then Seth hits the blackout stomp, and we have new tag team champions. Yay! Except for wait a second, they just did this on SmackDown. But still, though, I'll take things. In their own context, and this was a fun match. This was actually a surf and turf quality match. Especially because of the running. So again, that's kind of raw in a nutshell. Oh, there's a, another bug. That's only a bad thing. I think the windows open and little bugs fly through the screens. Then I need to clean up the office. But enough of that, though. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, kind of very quick programming notes. Again, I'll be putting this video up, so you should be able to watch this tomorrow's morning-ish. Or, yeah, I guess it'll be morning by then. Oh, wait, it's morning already. Um, Tuesday, going to do double duty with both the SmackDown and Mixed Match Challenge. Friday will be the typical Lucha Underground show. Also, probably Friday, I'm going to give my predict my girlfriend and I predictions about evolution. Once I figure out what's really on the card and if it's worth listening to. Although, probably because I do want to do this. And I would like to be monetized one day. And to do that, I need some subscription and view times. Going to have the evolution kind of review Sunday night, night-ish. Maybe Monday morning. And also because Halloween's coming up. <laughs> On the 31st, which is ooh, a Wednesday. I'm going to post a special show. It's the Halloween special. And for that, we're going to have... Who is we're going to determine who is the most evil wrestler of them all. Going to have... Who is the most evil female wrestler of them all? Who is the most evil tag team of all time? Yeah. <laughs> Again, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be some little 2K gaming. And with some of the characters I made with some WWE characters. 